Hey, welcome back to another Mail Day, Mail Day, Mail Day episode where we open the week's purchases and packages that we've arrived in the mail over the course of the week. We had another busy week of purchases, getting something just about every day in the mail. First things first, though, we're going to do a follow up to uh, Wednesday's reveal video, our Beckett authentication uh, services. We actually had six cards in the submission. Thought we only had five. I was going to submit five, made a last minute switch, and then completely forgot about it. But this Dick LeBeau, when I opened the uh, package on Wednesday and saw that Larry Little, I was kind of surprised because I thought I pulled back on the Little. I remembered potentially submitting the LeBeau card. This is not his rookie card. This is a 67. His rookie is a 65 Philadelphia. But anyway, it's a beautiful card, and um, it was kind of in the cardboard as we were revealing the other cards that we had. And then as I was cleaning up after the video, I found this one. So that was very fortunate. Again, thanks to Brandon. I left a link to Brandon's page on Wednesday's video in the description. So go check him out. He's going to do another um, Beckett submission this month. So get in on that. But they have to be in by the 24th, I think, maybe the 25th. So kind of right around the corner here. So let's get to these packages, purchases that we made the, over the course of the week. Of course, the Beckett submission was back in November. Hey, there's a Facebook group purchase. <laughs> Almost forgot about this one. This was our from our buddy Joe D, wasn't it? I don't know, I forget, but we purchased from him before. Very reliable seller. He gets autographs TTN, then he sells them in the Facebook groups. These were two for 20. Newest, one of the newest members of the Hall of Fame right there. Inducted last year, Drew Pearson. And old Billy Shaw on his 70 tops. Not his rookie. Still a great car. He charges. Well, there's some dispute about that too. But uh, Drew Pearson charges when he does answer his mail. This is before the election to the Super uh Hall of Fame, he was charging $20 or $25 a pop. So if you can get that for $10, why not? And Billy Shaw, I usually send him $10. I heard some people were getting him for $5. That's fine, too. But either way, the card's going to cost you $5 or $6 or $7. It's in great condition for a 70 tops. How about this? A little Clemente card in the Heritage 2020, 2020 uh, Heritage. Did a feature on Clemente. That was one of the cards in there. Got it for a buck. I'll take a, just about any Clemente card for a buck, especially when it's an insert. Next up, another eBay purchase. Find out what it is and we open it together. So my week's already made. Got a Clemente card, got a Drew Pearson autograph. That's my first Pearson autograph in my entire collection, I think. Oh, yeah, I got some lots of rookie cards. Relatively inexpensive. It's the 83 tops. Rich Camarillo by morning. Camarillo, take me home. George Strait song. But uh, I've always thought the 86 tops was his rookie card. And I may have even mentioned it on a previous video. But the 83 tops is his rookie. There's Plank's rookie. Got some other cards of Doug Plank, I think, from... And the Troy Kernan uh, box that he sent. I figure why not match it up with some rookie cards of Mr. Plank. And that three card lot was $5.97. And Camarillo, there might be some more in here. I thought I had three of those as well. Yep. And there's Pat Leahy, the great kicker from St. Louis University. Three of his rookie on the 76 tops. I always thought the 77 tops was his rookie. Two Camarillos, and three Leahy's, and three Planks. Leahy's were two ninety seven for the lot. Plank was a five ninety seven for the lot, and Camarillo was three ninety eight for the lot. And these cards came from Andy Lund. Well done, sir. Okay. Next up, again we'll. Find out when we get there. 
got to get one of these envelopes. Seems like it's cheaper to mail. Another Plank rookie card and a Dennis Smith rookie card. This Plank rookie card was a dollar plus 25 and the Smith was a dollar 49 plus a dollar 20. So combined shipping of a dollar 50 and these were 250. Pretty cool. Dennis Smith is a great signer through the mail. That's his rookie card on the 86 tops. I think I've been wrong before on these rookie cards. Almost certain that's Dennis Smith's rookie. Whoa. Break that letter opener again. <laughs> Sacrificed two letter openers to the mail gods since I started my YouTube channel. All right, two more TTM targets. Willie Wilson on the 79 top. That's his rookie. He charges $5 per pop. And so does Bob Horner on his 79 tops rookie. $5 per pop. Just thinking about maybe sending in those two. Haven't sent to those at all, ever. Those were both a dollar, dollar eighty-nine delivered for each. So another five bucks on top of that, and you get a signed rookie card of a pretty solid major leaguers. Willie Wilson, especially. Horner's career was kind of cut short due to his back injuries. Willie Wilson had a really great career. Over 2,000 hits. Look at that. Paul McGuire rookie card. On the 60... Um, is that 61 tops? 60 Fleer. 60 Fleer Paul McGuire. Pretty good player in his day. Really good announcer in his day. Announced games for, I don't know, 20 years or so. Put this Pearson and Billy Shaw up front. So you can see those autos. Next, these cards will come back some other time with autos, and you can see them then. There's Greg Morris. We'll bypass him for now, save him for last. Love all that vintage TTM fuel. Here's one. Start it one. Bare hand. Ginger snaps. A little snack while I'm doing my TTMs. Just joshing. Pack them up in a ginger snap container. Nothing else in there. I like, to, I like to get in on these original. Oh, all right. There's a lot of some more Clemente cards. This guy made his own little, um, I don't know what you would call it. His own version of Clemente cards. Kind of like a 50... Five Bowman or 54 Bowman and then 66 Tops Football. Clemente. Pretty cool. Got him for like a dollar. Let's see. Clemente. $3.29 delivered. So 32 cents a piece. That's pretty cool. And Kristen Yelich. That's a throw in. That's a throw in. I actually wanted this one. He said he couldn't find it. I ordered four, so he said he would substitute, and he gave me a refund as well on the Yelich. That's cool. Only needed one anyway. Maybe someday soon you guys will see my plan for those. Save that bag. These were actually, these are not uh, his own prints. These are 2018 Panini inserts. I don't know if they were inserts. Yeah, they're regular cards. But uh, four dollars delivered for ten of these, so forty cents a piece, and more Yelich's. Nice, Bronco and Kevin are salivating. One of the Yelich cards. Really good player. Hopes he get his he gets his swing back after his injury. He never really came back real well. The MVP season he had two years ago. Hopefully he can regain that status. This is just a small Greg Morris cards order, comparatively. He does consignments. There's a whole video on the um, a person who submitted their cards to Greg Morris that he does a great job. It says he pays the money really quickly. No wonder Greg Morris always has cards. They're, they're other people's cards. Whoops, that's for someone else. <laughs> Let me go through here. There's, there's two cards in here for other folks. Danny Murphy. He's still living, still signs. 
not his rookie card. Same photo, same little star on the 61 tops. This is 62, of course, the wood grain. You can tell. He's got a 61 tops, which is his actual rookie card. Tommy Sisk, we've never sent him. I had a card, I think it was, um, what year was that? 67. This is a 65. So hopefully we can pair that together and send it to Mr. Sisk. Wayne Causey, he, he signs through the mail. Look at that Kansas City A's jersey. That's awesome. Sleeveless with the long green. Got the uniform on the arm and the belly. KC hat. Gorgeous. Love those jerseys. 65 tops again. Bob Aspermani, similar to um, Danny Murphy. This is not his rookie card. He's got a rookie in the 60 tops. It does not have a trophy on it or it does not have a star. But I think it's a high number, actually. Kind of pricey if you can ever see it. Uh, of course, the 60 is the uh, horizontal card. But uh, many people think this is his rookie. Of course, Danny Murphy there. Sweet. That is it. What do you think? Drew Pearson. Of course, I was a big Cowboys fan growing up. Drew Pearson, one of my favorite, one of my favorite players. Clutch, clutch receiver. Great receiver. Stylebox favorite target. Always seemed to be open in clutch situations. He could always find a way to get open. Uh, maybe not the greatest speed in the world. Maybe not the greatest moves in the world. But, man, he had great hands. He was always open when the time, when the when the clock was ticking down and when we needed a big first down. And uh, so he's the man, definitely deserving of his Hall of Fame induction. And I know Staubach was pushing hard for that. So what do you think? Maybe I should give away a couple of car these cards, these Clemente cards. Let me know down below if you'd like one. And let me know what you thought of the um, this week's Mail Day episode. I'm going to have a lot of fuel here to keep me busy sending off requests. And hopefully we'll be back Monday with another TTM video. Thanks for tuning in today. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, click right there. And then ring that bell and you'll be notified of all my future videos. And if you missed last week's Mail Day episode, I'll leave a link right there. Thanks for being with me today and we will see you soon.